George by Hilaire Belloc. When George's grandmama was told that George had been as good as gold, she promised in the afternoon to buy him an immense balloon. And so she did, but when it came, it got into the candle flame and being of a dangerous sort, exploded with a loud report. The lights went out, the windows broke, the room was filled with reeking smoke, and in the darkness, shrieks and yells were mingled with electric bells, and falling masonry and groans, and crunching as of broken bones, and dreadful shrieks when, worst of all, the house itself began to fall. It tottered, shuddering to and fro, then crashed into the street below, which happened to be Savile Row. When help arrived, among the dead were Cousin Mary, Little Fred, the footman, both of them, the groom, the man that cleaned the billiard room, the chaplain, and the still room maid, and I am dreadfully afraid that Monsieur Champignon, the chef, will now be permanently deaf. And both his aides are much the same, while George, who was in part to blame, received, you will regret to hear, a nasty lump behind the ear. The moral is that little boys should not be given dangerous toys.